if you, you are hope that you understand okay i feel about faith lifestyle stories business a little bit of this a little bit of that from Jalingo, Tarabo State, Nigeria. If you're a returning subscriber, I celebrate you. Thank you for checking in. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, please hit the subscribe button already. Subscription is free. Subscription is entirely, totally free. You know what I'm saying? Just click on it. Just click on it, okay? Uh, don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment in the comment section. All right, you know what? I am sure overjoyed today. Today is the 2nd of January. I am thankful to God for how far He has brought me from last year to this year. You know, thank God for family, thank God, thank God for loved ones. I'm thankful for amazing, amazing testimonies. I'm thankful for I'm thankful for relationships. I'm thankful for connect. I'm thankful to God for how far He has brought me. No, I don't know about you, but I am just so thankful. Like the list is so many. I don't even know where to start from. I think one day I'm about, okay, I'm going to do a video on counting my blessings. Something like that. I'm, I'm still trying to put the, the topic together. For you know, I will just mention things I'm thankful for, you know, in 2021. And I want to use this opportunity to say, Welcome to 2022. Wow, you made it! You made you made it! Oh my god, and I'm so happy for you. I'm thankful to God for you and your family and your loved ones to you and yours. And I also pray to God that the Lord will keep you and safeguard you and yours. You know, in this year, in the name of Jesus, and all of your heart desires are granted. Mm. All right, so are you ready? Like, are you ready to ready this year? Are you ready for this year? Are you ready? <laughs> okay. So you know, um, for this year, I would, you know, I would encourage you to um trust God for everything. There's a saying that goes so that man proposes, God disposes. There's a saying like that, but I would like to make you to see it this way contextually now you know as much as we have those gigantic plans those wonderful plans those amazing goals we are set to achieve this year always ensure that you carry god along i know god is already aware of what it is that you want to do even before you make a mention to him but it is just wise for you to already know work with god in this year work with god work with the holy spirit work by faith this year okay you know put as you have put those pen, that pen to paper to map out your plans, to map out your expectations for this year, carry God along. Prayerfully walk towards your goal. Prayerfully anticipate that expectation. Prayerfully receive answers to like thankfully receive answers to prayer. The second point is I want you to always be thankful. Be thankful like nothing does it better than thanksgiving i mean even bible says in all of your prayer and supplication you should give thanks to god be anxious for nothing be careful for nothing but you know with your prayer and supplication you should give thanks to god i'm paraphrasing but i will drop the the part of the bible you know where i just took this from here so be thankful to god in everything that you know you you have you have received that you are receiving and that you are yet to receive just be thankful be thankful to god for how far he has brought you you know count your blessings and make them one by one nothing does be thankful to god Take God, walk with God this year. Walk with God in every of your plans. Be thankful to God. Improve in your love walk. Like learn to love others. Improve in your love walk. You know, God is love, and you are a product of love. You are love. You are easy. You are. You are. You have the DNA on your inside. If God is love, you have that DNA in you. So you know that it is not difficult for you to love. You cannot struggle to love because it is in your nature to love. Improving your love work, you know, you know, if you have not done, if you have not done it better last year, you can improve on it better this year, all right? Then you know, preach out to people, you know, love one, love everyone around you, love one another, you know, you give expression to that nature of love on your inside, okay? And then be prayerful, yeah, be prayerful. You cannot even underestimate the importance of prayer. Be very prayerful. You know, and the Lord will see you through, see us through this year in the name of Jesus. You know, there's a part of the Bible, was it First Timothy 1 that was saying, um, 
um, prayer and supplication we made for all men to those who are in authority and you know just for, for all men basically you know you pray for the government pray for your authorities pray for you pray for your family members prayer will help so that we can all lead a quiet and peaceable life you understand so prayer would go a long way you walk with god you are thankful you love you improve in your love work and then you don't underestimate the place of prayer because like i will always say you are a walking dynamo the bible says in james uh is it james 4 the bible says that the prayer of a righteous man has got it much and it is dynamic in it working that is the uh the amplified version it says the prayer of the righteous man make a tremendous power available dynamic in it working so always you like you're working dynamo you are a dynamo you are a dynamite you can make you know wonderful thorough things the righteousness happen in the place of prayer so never underestimate the power of prayer never underestimate the place of prayer i am the living testimony of prayers and you know i can really assure you and you know with my full chest tell you that prayer really works you understand confession confession really really works so always work on your confession you know words are words are powerful our words give our thunk gives life I, I choose to say my tongue gives life i know the power of life and death is in the tongue but choose this day that your tongue gives life and then you walk in the light of the Lord as you know called you to be you confess positively always confess positively in every situation that is fear at work you know so never ever forget or underestimate the power of confession I already get the summary of everything i've been saying which is you know work with god this year always be thankful improve in your love work never underestimate the place of prayer and also always you know work on your confession so uh so thank you so much for watching today's video i celebrate you if you like um content like this please do also click on the subscribe button do also give this video a thumbs up do also comment in the comment section do also to share with your friends family loved ones even your enemies and i will see you in the next one ciao ciao subscribe you subscribe that's the most yeah. important thing i love you guys